This is 1340 WJOL. We are Will County's News Talk Sports. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Money Talk. Brought to you by our friends at Newmark Credit Union. Today we're going to be talking about wreaths across America. Before we do that, we want to let you know that we're going to be giving away a $25 Visa gift card at the end of the program. Uh, be listening to our two guests in studio today uh, for some of the things that they say. I'll take a little bit of a bit of that information, whether it's from Wally or whether it's from Dino, and we'll ask you to repeat that information later on in the program. If you do, uh, you're going to be the correct caller, and you're going to get a $25 Visa gift card compliments of Newmark Credit Union. And we also want to remind you that you can grow your money your way. Newmark Credit Union gives you flexibility with their Pick Your Term CD special. They're offering 5.00 APY for terms of 6 to 11 months. Act now available for a limited time only. Other rates and terms available. Federally insured by the NCUA. Call 815-729-3211 or visit a Newmark office near you. Newmark Credit Union where you are family. Well, a volunteer board member from Newmark Credit Union, Wally Chapala, joins us live in our WJL studios. Hey there, Wally. Good morning, Scott. How are you, Good sir? Good buddy. Long time no see. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm. Uh, Memorial Day. Wait, was, that, was it Memorial Day? Memorial Day weekend. We were out. Come at, on. Yeah. Has it been that long? Yeah. We were putting in uh, the flags. The flags out at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery. And I've already ordered post diggers next year. <laughs> <laughs> it was dry. Yes, it was. But uh, some years, let's let's hope for a few days of rain before and next next year maybe we'll be able to put, put them in the ground without an issue at I, all. I ordered a bunch of extra ones too, so we pass them out. I think it's a great thing. I love that day so much. And we're going to talk a little bit about something similar to that yes. here today. Good to talk to you. You're a volunteer board member. Tell us a little bit about what it means to be a volunteer board member. What's your role? Yeah, uh, I'm on various committees of the, the credit union. I'm one of 10 uh, board directors. Uh, we all have um, uh, a commitment to the uh, credit union as far as uh, making sure that it's financially mm -hmm. sound. We provide uh, strategic planning guidance and uh, work with the leadership team, which is a fantastic team that uh, has members focused, uh, you know, uh, for all their financial sure. needs. Sure, sure. Absolutely. So how long have you been doing that? Uh, been involved in credit union industry for about 35 years. No kidding. Yeah. All right. What got you started? Uh, it was actually part of the uh, Joliet District Credit Union. With uh, It was a SEG group. Okay. Uh, we were, you know, with the phone company. All right. And then eventually we merged with yeah. Newmark, and I came over as a director. Uh, and, ha. Um, you know, a smaller credit unions, uh, it, it's tough to provide all the services. It is. And now we have grown. We're almost three-quarter billion dollars and mm. 60,000 members. That's crazy. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Dino Sukados joins us live in our WJL studios over from Frankfurt today. Lieutenant Colonel, a United States Air Force retired. Dino, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you both, by the way, before we go any further for your service to our country. Uh, Dino, tell us a little bit about your military service and what you're doing now. Uh, thanks, Scott. Well, I joined the Air Force in 1997 okay. after graduating from the University of Illinois. And then I spent a little over 20 years as an aircraft maintenance officer with experience on pretty much all the kind of aircraft we have. I got to live nine years overseas in various assignments, bouncing all over the globe, uh, multiple deployments, and a brief stint at the Pentagon before I retired out of Okinawa, Japan, six years ago. Wow. And now I teach JROTC at Lincoln Way Central. Nice. And where are you originally from? Uh, originally from Oak Lawn. Okay. So not right. too far away. So you went to Richards High School? I did. Go Bulldogs, right? There we go. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, I have a sick uh, uh, talent. I know every nickname of pretty much every high school in the state of Illinois. I get stumped every once in a while. I, I need to get a life, Wally. Oh, I need no. to get a life. It's All a good right. life. High, school. It is a good high school sports is great. It absolutely is a good life. So you lived nine years overseas. What were some of the countries where you lived? I uh, lived in England, uh, Korea, Japan, uh, the UAE, and then uh, multiple deployments and just uh, trips to various countries. Okay. So you have some first-hand knowledge of what things are like, and we won't get into what's happening in the Middle East, but you have first-hand knowledge of, of what things are like in other parts of the world. They're much different than here in America. Yes. Uh, I mean, I'd say people are people all around the world. One of my things I've noticed is that we're a lot similar mm -hmm. uh, in most regards, but there are some key differences that uh, certainly cause some friction points. Yeah, no doubt about that. 
Okay, so Wally, we're going to go ahead and jump into this, and Colonel, we will jump into this as well. Uh, from Newmark's standpoint, Newmark has supported this project for a long time. Talk about why, Wally. Yes, uh, actually, uh, my, my first experience with Reach Across America was back in 2009. Uh, I just happened to be out there and heard about it, uh, and I came back to the board, and I said, listen, Debbie was looking for support for 2009. I said, we, we have been... Uh, active with the wreaths across America for uh, this 14 years now, and uh, I don't know how many thousands of wreaths we have uh, donated through mm-hmm. contributions uh, received in, in uh, our branches, and uh, you know just through uh, normal donations right. from the credit union. Absolutely, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Let's talk a little bit about the wreaths across America project. What is the mission of wreaths across America, and how does it work? Sure. The Reese Across America Project, it's an annual tribute to our nation's veterans. Uh, just to honor them, uh, each year on the second or third Saturday of December, uh, we'll do wreath layings uh, all over uh, the United States and overseas cemeteries on veterans' graves. Um, the Reese Across America is committed to remembering and honoring those veterans, and they want to recognize their sacrifices, and then to teach the younger generations about the value of their freedoms and, and the importance of honoring those who sacrifice so much to protect those freedoms. Right. When did this, and I guess, how did it all get started? There's, there's got to be a, a backstory. Um, there is. I, I'll try to give you the Reader's Digest no, version. No, help yourself. We've uh, okay. got plenty of time. Well, the uh, Moral Worcester, who's the owner of a Worcester Wreath Company out of Maine, uh, when he was 12 years old, he did a trip to Arlington, and it was such a memorable experience for him, uh, especially, you know, seeing these hundreds of thousands of graves, sure. the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Uh, and it kind of left a pretty uh, indulgible mark on him. At age 12? At age wow. 12. And then uh, in 1992, he found himself with this company that had a surplus of wreaths uh, towards the end of the holiday season. And then he was thinking back to his Arlington uh, memory. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you know, I'd love to be able to recognize some veterans. So he uh, contacts uh, one of the senators. And they made arrangements to get all these excess wreaths down to Arlington. Wow. And they, 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 they placed them there. And they did this for a little over 10 years without any fanfare. And I think it was like 2005. Somebody snapped a picture of, you know, this, 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 you know, the, the grave marker with uh, the snow and the, and the, the green wow. wreath and the red bow. You know, it's very picturesque. And, sure. and it just kind of spread from there. And then I think in 2007, they formed the uh, nonprofit Reese Across America. And it's just kind of grown since then. And, uh, you, you know, Wally and I were talking about this earlier. It, I think uh, in 2014, I think they had like 225,000 wreaths. Last year, mm. it was 2.7 million wreaths wow. worldwide at over 3,700 locations. 2.7 million worldwide wreaths were donated. Wow. Where are all the wreaths coming from? Uh, they have uh, a lot of them coming from, from Maine, obviously from there, but there's other uh, other farms and other yeah. uh, companies that so uh, cool. donate and, and, and help provide them across the, across the globe now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Have they been able to put a wreath on every grave at Arlington? Uh, I don't think at every grave. They, they, I think they do rotate them around to different sections so that yeah. every veteran will get one. Uh, I think that's their goal, obviously, is to have every, every grave uh, recognized, but uh, they do rotate them around and try to get as many as they can. Mm. That just gives you the chills. It really does. Wally, as we talked about earlier, we were out at our Flags in Day together over Memorial Day. That just made you stop and think about why we celebrate Memorial Day. I I talked about it. I'd promoted that event for a long time. And thanks to management at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery, they allowed us down, invited us down to do our radio show. So we got to participate and try to get as many people down there as possible. You have volunteered many times for that event, but you've also volunteered many times for the Wreaths Across America event at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery. Talk about some of your experiences down there with that event. Yeah, the uh, like I say, my first uh, time out there was in 2009. Uh, it actually was just a small group of uh, mostly veterans, I would say. It's, you know, it's, it's old people <laughs> hanging around and, uh, you know, going to place wreaths. And there was only, I believe at that time, was a couple hundred wreaths Mm-hmm. At uh, in 2009, that were being placed, and uh, of course Debbie uh, Debbie Bennett uh, is a pro- is a site coordinator sure. for for Abraham Lincoln's uh, Wreaths Across America program. Uh, you know, I s- said she would like to encourage some sponsorships and stuff. So I went back to the credit union and spoke to them. And every year, uh, you know, it, it has grown. We've been, we've been actively involved, like I say, accepting donations and stuff. But so some of the uh, memorable things is. Uh, 
over the years it has developed, <clears throat> like the colonel had said, he's part of a, a, a group, uh, the Lincoln Way uh, Air Force uh, Junior ROTC program. Well, that program is out there now. Mm -hmm. Other youth programs are out there. To see the thousands of people that show up now, and this will be December 16th, okay. you know, that'll show up and have, uh, you know, their youth groups out there participating. And, and the whole theme of the Reach Across America now has grown to remember, honor, and teach. And, and that's, that's what it's all about. It's honoring. But every year there's a small group of families out there. They're Gold Star families. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, that's uh, it's impressive. No, I shouldn't say impressive, but that's why you're there. Yep. It's just not to honor, but to show them that we do uh, honor and respect the veterans that are that are laid to rest out there. And you know, and then and then and the touching part is, you know, there's Gold Star families there that we support. Yeah, uh, Lieutenant Kerr, real real quick, Gold Star families, can you talk about those that qualify for that honorable but horrible distinction? Uh, uh, yes, it's it. Uh, I I want to just echo what Wally said, and that when you have a Gold Star family member, somebody who's uh, lost a loved one um, in the service, you know, going to the ceremony, and they always have reserved seating there in the front, mm -hmm. and to be able to, there's, I think we had what, t t almost, uh, how many thousands did we have last year, close oh. to 20? <laughs> Uh, oh, the wreaths, 20, 28,000 wreaths yeah. last year. And to, 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 to see that, that much uh, mm. just honoring uh, their loved ones. It yeah. shows them that, hey, your sacrifice was not in vain. There are people that do appreciate yes. and value and are teaching the next generation like, hey, your freedom is not free. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's truly humbling. And, 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 and it's a, that's one of the reasons that I'm, I'm very proud to be part of it as well. Well, let's talk about you know when the 2023 Reefs Across America ceremony takes place and give us all the details. Sure. It's going to be Saturday, December 16th, uh, and the ceremony will start at 11 o'clock, okay. 11 a.m., uh, obviously at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery, mm -hmm. um, and so if and we want everybody who can to be out there, uh, we'll do the ceremony. The ceremony does not take long; it takes maybe thirty minutes, if that, and then uh, people can go. Then you're and, off. Then you're off laying wreaths <laughs> on, uh, on the on the graves. That's awesome. How many people volunteered? And this is a family event, correct? Yes, absolutely. There's uh, again, like you know, you want to. Uh, you we're trying to teach that next generation yep. and so families are absolutely welcome um if somebody wants to get involved uh best way to do it is to go to the uh www.wreathsacrossamerica.org you can click on the uh, location for abraham lincoln national cemetery and there are buttons there to volunteer a button to donate uh and a and a button to invite uh somebody else if you want to spread the word to somebody else you can uh, just click right there and, awesome. and send it to your friends awesome well if there's someone out there listening right now that has a loved one buried at Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery, how can that person make sure their loved one is honored with a wreath? Yeah, there actually is a grave-specific form. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about that because that is, uh, you know, uh, that is a form that's available. We're going to have it available at our credit union um, branches for okay. somebody who wants it. But I also just, uh, I, I've been sending some emails to Debbie just making sure we, we got some... This will be the last year she's going to be mailing those forms out to people. 2023 was the last year. Next year, on these forms, there's an email location where you can put that. She's going to put you in her database, and you'll be getting that next year's form okay. for grave specific. And I'm going to give out it. So everybody sure. at home, get your uh, pens and papers <laughs> ready because I'm going to give out her email address because she even said right now she has a PDF form. So if you wanted it today and didn't want to stop in one of our branches, but I encourage you to stop in one of our branches because I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But the um, uh, the form will be, you know, mailed back to Debbie, mm -hmm. and she will process that. But you would put the the person's uh, name and, and location if you know it. And if you do it online, like uh, there is now a, 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 a availability to do a grave specific online for Abraham Lincoln. Make sure you go to the Abraham Lincoln location of Reach Across America because there's, there's many locations. Oh, sure. Because if, even if you just want to donate, you're not there. It's not going to go to Abraham Lincoln. You have to make sure you're in this Abraham Lincoln. In that tab. In, in, right, in that tab. And But on the uh, form that you fill out, it says uh, location optional and stuff like that for where the marker's at. Uh, you can find out 
through the VA. You can just go to VA Gov or else you go to uh, just uh, search for grave locations for national cemeteries. You can put the person's name in. You, could, you can go to that address, or Abraham Lincoln, and it'll tell you the site and the location where oh, it's at. Okay. Gotcha. So if you don't know it and say you're uh, unaware of, you know, sure. you, you can do that. But the grave-specific form needs to be into Debbie by, if you're going to mail it, by November 24th. That's her drop dead date. Okay. It's November 24th to get it into her so that someone will be out there, one of uh, one of the, the kids or something from Lincoln Way, if you're not able to make it, we'll be placing that perfect that, that wreath at the okay. location. Perfect. You mentioned you were going to talk about something else. Let's do that now while we're talking about Newmark. I'm guessing you will accept donations there as well. Uh, yeah, we're at Newmark Cray Union in the... Uh, I believe starting tomorrow, November 1st, uh, Newmark is going to uh, uh, match uh, up to $1,500 in, in donations. So we encourage people to stop by our branches uh, to provide, you know, to, into their drop boxes so that we can uh, then match up to $1,500 and support this program in a, nice. in, a, in a stronger way. But if you want to get your, uh, uh, your form online, uh, I'm going to give it to you right now, Debbie's email. It's, it's proud army sis in the number four. So that's Proud Army Sys, number, no, the, no, the number four, at sbcglobal.net. So if you m email her that, okay. she will uh, make sure you're... she'll get you a grave-specific perfect. so you can perfect. Uh, honor your loved one. Dino, Veterans Day, gosh, just a few days from now, we have Halloween and then a couple of other things happening over the next week or so. But then November 11th is, is right here. Will you share more about the story behind Veterans Day and why we celebrate it every year on the 11th day of the 11th month? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, well, World War I, which at the time was known as the Great War, officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919, uh, in the Palace of Versailles outside of Versailles, France. Mm -hmm. However, the fighting had actually ceased seven months earlier when there was an armistice between allied nations and Germany, and that went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And that's, that's the reason that on November 11th, 1918, is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars and is considered a celebration of, to honor America's veterans for patriotism, love of country, and a willingness to serve and for yeah. sacrificing of the common good. Yeah. It's a day that we should all pause or stop what you're doing and, and think about those who served. No doubt about it. And it is a day. I, I know people have, have kind of morphed into it being a very, very sad day. But it's not. It's really a celebration of men like you two here. It is. It is. You know, you know, Veterans Day is for veterans of the military. Memorial Day Absolutely. is for recognizing those that have, yep. have, we've lost. And so, but yeah, it's a, it is a celebration and, and recognition and honoring of service. If someone or business individuals hear what we're talking about right now and want to get involved, how can they get signed up to help on the 16th of December at 11 a.m. on Saturday for Wreaths Across America, Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery? Yes. Again, the best way is through the uh, wreathsacrossamerica.org website and then click to the location. Like uh, Wally mentioned earlier, you've got to be on the Abraham Lincoln uh, page. And from there, there is a volunteer button. And you can go from there. They do have a Facebook page as well, okay. Reese Across America, Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery, and they can go there too. Awesome. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I know we, we do this annually, but it's, it's, it's great to get the word out, and I hope we do it again next year. Yes. Yeah, well, we will do it next Good. year. Good. Wallach yes. Fowler, thank you very much. And Lieutenant Colonel uh, Dino Constantine Sukados, uh, uh, retired United States Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All you, right, Scott. what we're going to do now is give away a $25 Visa gift card, 815-254-7300. 815-254-7300. Um, the question is, how many wreaths last year were put on markers across the country. It was a number in the millions. How many? 815-254-7300. First correct caller on the Turk Furniture Studio Line wins. And I do also want to once again remind you that you can grow your money your way. Newmark Credit Union gives you flexibility with their Pick Your Term CD special, offering 5.0 APY for terms of 6 to 11 months. Act now. Available for a limited time only. Other rates and terms available. Federally insured by the NCUA. Call 815-729-3211 or visit a Newmark office near you. Newmark Credit Union, where you are family.